हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर भरत अशोक वासवानी सीनियर कंसल्टेंट मेडिकल ऑनकोलॉजिस्ट एंड हिमेटोलॉजिस्ट वर्किंग एट यशोदा हॉस्पिटल सिकंदराबाद टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट लिवर कैंसर लिवर कैंसर एज यू नो इज डिफाइंड एज कैंसर दैट अकर्स इन द लिवर देर आर टू वेज अ कैंसर कैन अकर इन द लिवर द फर्स्ट एंड द मोस्ट कॉमन इज कैंसर कमिंग फ्रॉम आउटसाइड द लिवर एंड कमिंग टू लिवर विच वी कॉल एज मेटास्टेसिस एंड द सेकेंड इज अ प्राइमरी लिवर कैंसर टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट प्राइमरी लिवर कैंसर प्राइमरी लिवर कैंसर इज नॉट एज अनकॉमन एज इट इज थॉट ऑफ वेन यू लुक इन टू द ग्लोबोकॉन डाटा इट इज द टेंथ मोस्ट कॉमन कैंसर इन इंडिया पर ईयर अप्रोक्सीमेटली थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड न्यू लिवर प्राइमरी लिवर कैंसर केसेस आर बींग डायग्नोज इन इंडिया मोर इम्पॉर्टेंटली आउट ऑफ दिस थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड अप्रोक्सीमेटली थर्टी फोर थाउजेंड डाय विद इन वन ईयर दीज आर बैड नंबर्स एंड दिस इज बिकॉज ऑफ लेट स्टेज एट विच दिस कैंसर इज डायग्नोज लिवर कैंसर कॉमनली अकर्स ड्यू टू थ्री मेजर कॉजेज द फर्स्ट एंड द मोर कॉमन आर कॉज इज अ वायरल इंड्यूज लिवर कैंसर वेर द कॉमनेस्ट कॉज इज हिपेटिटिस बी वायरस एंड अ हिपेटिटिस सी वायरस इन इंडिया हिपेटिटिस बी इज मोर कॉमनर and there is 100 fold increase risk of developing a liver cancer when you have a chronic hepatitis b infection the second most common cause is a alcohol related disease causing liver damage and subsequently leading to cancer the third most common cause and the cause that is increasing nowadays is because of our lifestyle that is called as non alcoholic fatty liver disease ultimately leading to non alcoholic or we call as nash non alcoholic steatohepatitis and leading to cirrhosis and cancer the symptoms of liver cancer most of the liver cancer present as asymptomatic state and that is why this cancer is not diagnosed in early stage as there are no symptoms when the cancer advances the patient may develop liver failure so may have a symptoms of weight loss loss of appetite abdominal distension due to filling of the fluid rarely you can bleed through your uh, mouth because of what we call as hematemesis and that is due to esophageal varices and rarely breathlessness in late stages of disease because of filling of the water in the lungs now how to diagnose this cancer early so the best way to diagnose liver cancer early is to screen the high risk patient who are at risk of developing a liver cancer these are the patient who are having a child's a and child's b that is a risk chlorine and who are already cirrhotic due to any cause it could be a chronic liver disease with a high risk of developing a hepatocellular carcinoma hepatitis c virus with fibrosis and a child pux c who are waiting for liver transplant these have a very high risk of developing a liver cancer in fact the incidence of liver cancer in cirrhotic is approximately 1.6% per year hence we need to screen these asymptomatic patient with 6 monthly ultrasound scan and a blood marker called as alpha fetoprotein now when we talk about staging in the liver cancer the commonest staging that we use is called as barcinoma clinics liver cancer and based on that we decide our further management now the management of liver cancer has undergone lot of changes in the recent now early stage cancer the main modality of treatment is either resection of the liver tumor or a liver transplantation now how to decide the best way is depends upon what is the status of the liver so is it a normal liver or is it a cirrhotic liver what is the functional liver reserve that has been remaining after we resect and how is the patient is he fit enough for treatment so comorbidities including diabetes hypertension are also equally important the second way of treating liver disease is or a liver cancer is a local therapy so there is a thermal ablation and to commonly known therapy which is called as T A C E trans arterial chemoembolization and T A R E which is called as trans arterial radioembolization in this procedure we give chemotherapy drugs directly to the liver tumor at the same time we stop the blood supply to the tumor to increase the effect of chemotherapy recent years have seen lot of medical advances in the management of liver cancer gone are the days where we used to say that the survival in advanced liver cancer will be less than a year 
now with the newer modality of treatment that is immunotherapy and oral effective tablet which targets vascular endothelial growth factor we can combine both of them or we can give single tablet also with the use of these drugs the survival of the liver cancer is increasing and it crosses even 2 years also in some patient if this treatment works very effectively can i prevent a liver cancer so the answer is partly yes the best way to reduce a liver cancer is by vaccinating yourself with a hepatitis b vaccine because this reduces hbv infections and ultimately leads to reduction in the incidence of liver cancer last but not the least we have to maintain a proper lifestyle obesity yes you have to reduce your body weight regular exercise but that will reduce the main or a newer causes of liver cancer what we call as non alcoholic fatty liver disease so vaccination proper exercise and taking care of yourself well may help in reducing the incidence of this deadly cancer thank you